हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन दी सी एस आर नेट जून ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दी कॉम्प्लेक्स एनालिसिस क्वेश्चन विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वेरी ब्यूटिफुल शॉर्टकट ट्रिक्स वी विल डिस्कस ऑल दोज क्वेश्चन विच वॉज आस इन दी पार्ट बी एज वेल एज दी पार्ट सी सो यू विल इन्जॉय दिस विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस शॉर्टकट ट्रिक माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर गर्ग वर्किंग दी स्कूल ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स था पर इंस्टीट्यूट यू कैन सिंपली फॉलो दिस लिंक फॉर फाइंडिंग द वेरियस शॉर्टकट वीडियोज ऑन दी सी एस आर नेट एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट स्टार्ट विद दिस फर्स्ट वन आर वेयर वट इज given to you a c is the counter clockwise oriented circle with radius half and the center is iota so iota is nothing but my 0 comma 1 so this is my iota the center is my iota radius is my so this is 0 comma 1 this is my half this is my 3 by 2 so this is my circle so that means this is my radius is half now we, then what is the value of this integration that's a very simple task about that what you can do you have to simply find the singular points are how you can find the singular point i can simply write firstly in terms of their partial fraction here what are the zeros of this so you can see the zeros are 1 min uh, you can see the pole of this 1 iota minus iota now you can see the first one that's a plus 1 plus 1 lies here so it means this is outside this domain so this is my analytic so once analytic the answer is my zero so similarly the minus 1 is lies here this is again outside then the corresponding answer is my zero iota which is lies here which is a non analytic that is a singularity so we need to calculate their answers corresponding to this minus of iota which has lies here again which is outside the domain so this answer is my zero therefore what is the answer of this integration that is nothing but my 2 pi iota times the values at the singular point that is my iota so you can write this function apart from this what is that this is z minus 1 this is z plus 1 this is z minus iota and this is z plus iota so we apart from this we can write this number as z square minus 1 z plus iota so after substitute the value you will get the right answer so it is iota square minus 1 it's a minus of 2 it is my 2 of iota so you can see it's my minus pi by 2 is the right answer if there are more than one are there so you can write this plus corresponding to the next part and then solve look what the another one is there so any of the real number a consider the triangle so if i consider the triangle this is my zero this is my a this is my a comma iota a so this is my triangle and which is i call as this is a this is b this is my o then you have to integrate over this c this is my c real part of z real part of z is my x area is nothing but my dx plus dy that is the answer that's a very simple about that so i will tell you the simple shortcut tricks are there so that is my first method so look about this figure if you look about this figure what is that this is nothing but the right triangle triangle what is the area of the right triangle triangle half base what is the base of this this is nothing but my oa of ab what is the oa that is a what is the ab is iota a what is the answer of this iota a square by 2 that's the right answer that's a simple shortcut to x once you know this diagram another method is this is the first method how you can do the second method is since it is a counter clockwise so you have to move this this and this so how you can write i can write this in terms of the oa then from a to b and then from b to o now on the o to a what is that this is my y is equal to 0 once y is 0 then dy is 0 so it will be my x dx what is the limit of the axis 0 to a 0 to a so what is the answer of this is nothing but a square by 2 on the ab what is that this is x is my a so dx is my 0 so it will be a iota will be outside it's a dy so limit is from 0 to iota a so what is that iota a will be outside so iota a minus 0 plus on the bo y is equal to x so what is that on the b is x what is that dx dx dy is nothing but the dx so it can be written as 1 plus iota of dx so the limit of the x is my from 0 to a 1 plus iota is outside so it will be a square by 2 now you can see that this is a square by 2 it is nothing but minus a square plus a square by 2 plus iota a square by 2 now you can see this will be cancel out answer is again iota a square by 2 that's the same 2 is the right 
but you can see this is the simple shortcut trick that i can tell you you can simply do the diagram if it is a square you can write the area of the square if it is a triangle you can write the area of triangle look what the another one is there so what is that uh, f is a uh, entire function that is a very important thing is that f is entire function now and another thing is given to you limit z approach is 0 f of 1 by z is my infinity so look for the first part which of the following statement is true f is constant what will happen if f is constant it means f of z is my 1 so if f of z is my 1 then what is the f of 1 by z is also 1 so if you take the limit as z approach is 0 so it is again 1 but it is a infinity so it means the first option is cancel out look for the second options are there there are many zeros zeros and so you have to find the zero so that's a very simple if you clearly look about this function what is the meaning of that fz what is the meaning of fz represents the pole at infinity that's the meaning of this because if you look about that is a 1 by z if you take zero the answer is infinite that means it's a pole now once it's a entire function it's a pole as well as the infinity so what is the meaning of that you have to simple uh, remember this shortcut tricks is there what is that if f is my entire function first of all plus singularity at the infinity is my pole if singularity at infinity is my pole then what will happen if these two conditions satisfied then f is what is the nature of this f is f is necessary be a polynomial that's a simple shortcut tricks about that you should remember so what will happen if f is a polynomial you can write this polynomial in terms of here this is my polynomial f z of here now they are zero what is the meaning of the zero so you have to find this what is the meaning of that you will get the root of this as z0 z1 and so on up to the zn how many are there they are finite zeros how many zeros finite that is at the most m g n zeros these are my finite so but this option is infinite so the second option is also cancel out third option is they are at the most finite so that's at the most finite so this answer is correct f is necessary nowhere vanish that's not true because it's a polynomial so if you have the zeros like if i say this is my polynomial then definitely it has a zero so definitely this is cancel the right answer is b so since it is the part b so only one correct option is the there look about the another one is there so what is again given to you this is my here which of the following statement is my fourth so what is given to you you have to find the image of the set whether it's a open close and here so what is that that's a simple is the image so you have to think about the any of the result which work on the image of the complex number that is f of c do you remember any of the result which is here that's a very simple i will tell you the shortcut tricks again what is that if you prove that f is your analytic plus f is your non constant function if f is your analytic and the non constant function in the open set say b open set b then what is the meaning of that is f of b is an open set that is the simple shortcut trick for you remember that and you all knows that what is that this theorem is nothing but my open mapping theorem fine so now if you look about the options are there first uh, we can see that this is my open set this is my b b is my open that's true what is the f is this clearly says that f of z is my e of z this is my analytic this is my non constant so the first two conditions are satisfied now we look about the open set this is the open set so the image of the open set is also the open but it is unbounded f this is not the open this option cancel this option this is the closed set this is the open set the image is my open but which of the following statement is false this is my false because this must be the open set so this is my false this is my not an open set because this is the closed so it will it is not a open this is true statement this is the equality so it is definitely closed set this is the unbounded so it's unbounded all these statements are my true but we look about the false statement so this is my false statement answer is only one 
now look about the part c so more than one correct options are there what is that so this is given to you here and f can be written in the terms of the u plus iota v which are the following statement are my two look about the first option is uh, this is infinitely differentiable okay that is uh, how you can check the infinite okay infinite differentiable what is that this is my polynomial function this is my trigonometry function every polynomial function is my infinitely differentiable every trigonometry function is my infinitely differentiable okay also this is my analytic clear because this is the product of the polynomial as well as the integral uh, trigonometry function so it's analytical function once you write the analytical function the corresponding value of the u and v that is a real part it is nothing but my x plus iota y cube plus 1 and of sin of x plus iota y square so you can find the real and imaginary part that's a u and v which is again a polynomial as well as the trigonometry function so once they are polynomial and trigonometry functions they are differentiably infinitely many times because every polynomial is differentiable infinite times every trigonometry function is differentiable infinite times so u is a differentiable infinite times is a two state u is a continuous every polynomial and trigonometry is a continuous that's true but need not be differentiable that is a wrong state uh, u is a bounded okay so how you can check this is a bounded so remember this again the shortcut tricks for you f is analytic that you have proved that f is analytic plus if u is bounded also what is the meaning of u or v whatever that then what is the meaning of that f is my constant then in that case f will be my constant so what is that f is analytic you have proved if this option is a correct what is the meaning of that f is constant but you can say this is a non constant function it means u is not bounded so this option is cancel so f is analytic so it can be represented now this is true by because this is nothing but the taylor series so every analytical function can be uniformly convergent power series is here so this is also the right answer look about the another uh, this is the part c what is given to you f is my entire function that is given to you okay so we have to check whether the capital f is finite or infinite that is a part of the derivative okay that's again very simple if f is entire what can you say about the derivative this is also the entire function once the two function is entire then we all know that the ratio is also be a entire now once the ratio is entire can you say what is the derivative of this what is the modulus of this that is nothing but my here now you can see f dash upon f it is nothing but less than 1 what is the meaning of that f dash upon f is my bounded from here we get f dash upon f is my analytic so any function which is analytic plus bounded what is that function look about that this is the shortcut tricks again for you any function which is analytic as well as the bounded it means this is a constant so what is the meaning of that it means f dash upon f is my constant once it is a constant so i consider this as i call as alpha so what is the meaning of that if you integrate them you will get the value of the log f is alpha z plus log of beta what is that beta is arbitrary constant in the complex plane so what is that f is nothing but e raised to power alpha z times beta here beta is my c so clearly says that c, this c has infinitely many values once beta is infinitely many values so this beta corresponding to f also has infinite many values once it has infinitely many values the the corresponding f is my infinitely set so this option is cancel out this option is correct now we have to check about the condition on the alpha whether alpha is less than 1 or it can be any of the real because this is a constant so we can start from here what is that f dash is less than of the mod f i can substitute the f dash is nothing but my alpha of f is less than of this what is the meaning of that mod alpha is less than of the one so that means this option is my correct this option is cancel out so the second and fourth are my correct statements 
look for the last question are there so what is that you have to find whether the app is a 1 1 or on to that's a very simple uh, we will check firstly f is 1 1 what is that 1 1 is we can take the two elements from that domain so let's say z1 and z2 from the domain such that this image are my equal once image are equal then your target is to prove the elements are also be the same so that's a very simple we can consider this value in the given function over 1 minus of this divided by here now both the ratios are equal so i consider this as my say k so from taking the first and third pair we can find the value of the z1 from here so this value is nothing but my 1 minus k times of this i can take the second pair from this and this w minus k is nothing but my here 1 minus k of w now clearly says that if you divide them you will get as z1 is nothing but z2 so what is the meaning of that f is 1 1 so this option is the correct one so this one is cancel out the first one is the correct one how you find the onto again that's very simple what you can do you have to consider the any elements from the core domain so let's say z1 belongs to the core domain such that such that one such that omega minus z upon one minus of this is my here so we will check the value the value of the z so can you find the value of the z from here so that is nothing but my here z1 of omega so what is the value of the z so omega minus z1 1 minus omega bar of this now when it will be belongs to the domain when mode of z is less than of the 1 so clearly says that this is less than of the 1 because if you take the mode of numerator and denominator it is definitely less than of the 1 so what is the meaning of that this z belongs to my domain so therefore it is on to as well as 1 1 that is a it's a bijective now so it's a f is third not on to is a cancel out so one and third are the correct options for this so this is the way you can solve the complex analysis question in a very simple shortcut twigs that's all about this today's videos are there you can find the another lectures related to the 2019's probability questions probability instead of the 1920 calculus of various for the 2020 all are available in my playlist csr net channel name dr girl you can find the csnet 2020 examinations as well as the december 19 all are available in my playlist here i hope you can like share and comment this video with your friends best of luck students happy learning